Hey guys, welcome back to the channel here, back with the ECU Pirates in NCAA 2005, coming off a massive season for us. We went 7-5, and five, big winning season there for us. Uh, recruiting, training, yep, this has been working for us. Look at that, 7-5, and five, up to a two-star prestige now. Really looking forward to this offseason, seeing what we can get going from the state of North Carolina. Again, only recruiting from one state, so it's been a grind to get this team up. But I think we're on the up, upwards, upwards draft right now. And, ah, Pace, he wants to go to the draft. He was at 78 overall for us. Ooh. Okay, um, let me just see what else we have at wide receiver. Because Dillard's gone. Medley's gone. Pace would be our number one option for... Andrews this year and Andrews is going to need a weapon we also got Harrison and Spencer but mm, yeah if we can convince Pace to stay that would be massive I think we, I think we need him for this offense we'll give you we'll give you eight points to talking to staying here I haven't made up my mind yet I need to evaluate the pros and cons okay well all right another eight points come on I think I need another year to develop my skills for the next level. Yeah, you do, baby. Let's go. We got Pace back as a wide receiver. That is huge for Andrews. All right, so let's advance here. All right, here we go. Week one. Current players that we have from North Carolina is 51. Team needs. We only need an outside linebacker and a cornerback this offseason. However, as you guys have seen in the past, we are going after everyone. Oh, we have some blue chips. Can we? Very high. No way. Tory Mays. Blue chip prospect. Wide receiver. Okay. Uh, hell yeah. Let's go. Five points on location. Oh, and then Alonzo Curry. The other blue chip is very low. That's too bad. Okay, well, at least we're going after Mays here. We're number two on his list, baby. We might be able to pull in one of the better wide receivers of this um, offseason. That's great. Okay, outside linebacker. We only have those two available. Damn. Okay. Uh, let's go three points for location. Three points on location. Middle linebacker. Yeah, let's try and get these guys too. Because I think our middle linebacker position is pretty bad. Middle linebacker. Yeah, like we're getting older in that position too. Corner. Hmm. I was hoping the four star would be interested. He's not though. We got three star here. Location. 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 There we go. That's three corners that we're going after. Come on, give me an athlete. Do we have any? Yeah, we got some athletes who are interested in coming here too. Let's go. Uh, he's just average, but these guys are both very high. So let's go three for location. And another three points for the location. We're out down to what? 78 points. And we have 15 left to go. Wow, we got a lot of points here. 78 divided by 15. We can average five points per guy from here on out. So we'll definitely be giving more points off to the, our top guys. But from now on, let's let's go by positions here. So at QB, we have one senior, two juniors, and a sophomore. We could definitely use another guy, I think. Let's try to get him coming in here. Location, uh, running back. We have a lot of guys, so. But honestly, if we can get some three stars, would not be a bad thing. Because those will be upgrades over whatever we have going on right now, back there. Because we get, we recruit a lot of two stars. I think last last off season. Fullbacks got a couple highs, but we have oh yeah, we have two fullbacks there right now. Why don't we see what these guys want? Uh, wide receivers, yeah. So we got this Maze guy who man, I, I wanna I wanna get him. Let's put ten points on him about the location here. Uh, three star Chandler Williams. Yep, yeah, we will gladly go after you as well. And then another three star, because why not? Wide receivers. Yeah, because we got two seniors, two freshmen. We need some guys c coming in here. Tight end, no prospects. Damn, okay. Uh, 
tackles, just a one star. Guard, just a one star. What are we looking at? We got four and four. Honestly, I'm okay to skip this year. Not not much talent there. Uh, centers, three star center. We'll give him a call. Those average guys, I wouldn't mind going after. Defensive ends, all average. Defensive tackles, two highs, but they're one stars. Outside linebacker, early going after those two. Middle linebacker going after them. Corners, we looked at free safeties. Just one stars. I don't. The one stars aren't going to help us, but we do need free safeties. So let's give them a chance. Maybe we can develop them. Uh, strong safety. Oh, we have the two star who's high. Let's go. So that's 26 points left. We have four left to go after. Punting wise, we have a junior punter right now, but this guy's interested. Let's try and recruit him. Oh, here's a high wide receiver as well. Sure, we'll we'll give him a chance. And honestly, the average wouldn't mind throwing some points at these average guys who are pretty decent. Location. We have one scholarship left here. Uh, chance pairs. Ooh, a QB. Why don't we? Why don't we give him a little call? See, see if he's interested in coming here. There we go. So that's every all of our scholarship and points used up. All right. So no commits there. However, let's see how our current targets are going. Maze. Location is not a factor at all, but we are now his top school. We were number two before. So we are going to go back to 10 points here, and we are going to go by coaching style because we pass the ball a lot. I'm thinking he's going to like the passing game. He can get a lot of yardage there. Let's try that. Doesn't care where we are located. Okay, this guy also, I think if we do 10 points on coaching style, he's going to want to ball out. That might work in our favor. Okay, now the center. Uh, let's try playing time for him. All right, now these guys are all the location guys. Location. We'll just do three points for now. Oh, this guy doesn't care about location wide receiver. Okay, we're going to go coaching style for those guys. Three points there, three points there. Uh, running back, let's try playing time. Same thing here, playing time. Doesn't care where he plays. Okay, well, we'll give you a playing time pitch as well as an athlete. We'll see if that works. Three, three there. Yep. Lots of location angles, like always. Ah, oh, crap. Uh, he doesn't care about location, so let's try playing time for him. Oh, there we go. Went a little too far there on the players. There we go. So now we're at the bottom. We have 36 points remaining here, and no scholarships left to give out. So we have to re we have to go through and add more points to these guys. So I'll go and do that now. There we go. So topped up most of the guys' points for the better guys, and let's advance. See who we can sign. And here we are, we got some commits, we got a 3 star QB, a 3 star center, a 3 star wide receiver, a 1 star safety, and a 1 star linebacker. So, got more 3 stars than we did last year though, so that's a good start. Current targets, alright, Tory Mays, what he's saying, he can see himself playing ECU style football. Yeah, okay, so recruit, 15 points on that style, we have to lock him down here. Uh, chance, yeah, it doesn't look like we're going to get him now. So I'm thinking we just drop it. We'll roll with Andrews. We got a three-star QB to come here in here and develop. Let's not try to get too crazy about it here. Uh, this guy doesn't care about anything either. That sucks. And he is, his interest is average. So let's withdraw the offer on him too. Not going to waste my time on him. The punter, yeah, I mean, if he's better than our current punter, I'm down to go for him. Uh, this wide receiver is not interested about much. Okay. Let's try Coach Prestige then. Location, yep. 
Doesn't care about our location, doesn't care about playing time. Okay, let's try style then. Same with him. Same here, we'll go coaching style. Uh, this one is the location factor for the corner, good. Another one, but now we're down into the two stars here. I'm gonna start using only three points on these ones. We have, what, at least two scholarships to hand out, and I'm sure some guys didn't end up signing with us, so we'll probably have a couple more scholarships available here. There we go, so that's the end of our list. So we have three scholarships available, and we have 27 points. We have a lot of points to hand out here. So state prospects. Uh, this Curry, yeah, he wasn't interested. Kirby's not interested, very low. We tried him, didn't work. Uh, McClan, I don't think we tried recruiting him yet. Let's try recruiting him. I'll throw five points at him. We'll go location. That guy we've tried. Uh, and then everyone else isn't really that important, it seems like. So positional wise, what else are we... I wouldn't mind getting another center. That's the thing, but centers, it's only those two. And oh, we did get this guy. Mickey M Minton, so that's good. Guard, average, defense, and very low. Hmm. I'm just trying to think of who else would be someone to go after. Schnell's average, we could try him. Throw 10 points at him on the location. Maybe, maybe it lands, maybe it doesn't. We will find out. But that's basically everyone here. So honestly, I wouldn't mind going after one of those guys that we were already talking to again. Like pairs, maybe we keep going after him here. We can try program prestige, throw 12 points at him. Let's see, let's see what happens there. Oh baby, there we go. Tori Mays signs with ECU, a blue chip, five star prospect. He loves the coaching style, let's go. We got the punter. We have a fullback coming in, two fullbacks coming in, and a middle linebacker. Oh baby, ECU with a five-star prospect. Let's get it. Um, oh, this Thomas McClan guy, he likes campus location. Honestly, 15 for him, four-star center. Would love to have that here. Free safety, yep, yeah, he's excited about playing here. I'll go five for him. This guy, five points for him. Oh, he's looking for a different program. Okay. Uh, coach Prestige, then. We'll try. More concerned about other than the coaching style. Playing time doesn't care. It doesn't care about location. Okay, so we'll try Prestige, then, on him. The athlete, nothing going on for him. We'll go Prestige. There we go. This guy likes location. Location for this athlete. Middle linebacker. Yep. Now, all these guys love the location. Just can't convince them to, to sign. There we go. So we have five points left with two scholarships left to hand out. Honestly, there's not really many more guys to go after, I feel like, so I'm just going to use up all... Oh, no, we have no points remaining. Okay, perfect. We use up all the points. Yeah, I think we are good to pr proceed. Okay, another massive signing day here. Thomas McClan, a four-star center, has committed to us, so that's firming up our line. We got more three stars coming in, lots of corners. Wow, that's a very good signing day, boys. Going into week five here. For our current targets, we got all of our needs. Uh, we had 56 guys total. We signed 16, have another six targeted here. Could bring us up to around 76 players if everyone signs here, or even more, what, like 78 more like it? We'll see, we'll, we'll see who signs. Okay, so this guy's still interested in our location. Yep, still going location for him. This guy just doesn't know what he wants. Dustin Winborn. Uh, so location was a no-go. Playing time was no. Coaching style. I don't think it was done yet. We'll try coaching style then. This one, yeah, location. 
location, another location guy, and that's it. So then we have three scholarships left to hand out with approximately 15 points. Uh, all right, let's go into state prospects. Anyone high? Richard, okay, you were low before, and now all of a sudden you're high? Sure, we'll give you a chance here. Um, I think we tried location and playing time for him. He didn't like it. Let's try coach prestige. Yeah, I'm just going to go to the top here. If we can find average guys who are interested in coming here, great. If not, oh well. Average running back, sure, why not? If we can upgrade some of our existing positions, that's great. All right, so we got a running back, we got a two-star athlete, a two-star middle linebacker, and a one-star free safety to sign. Let's see the top classes now. Here we go, Baylor's down there to 11. Where is good old ECU? Look at that, we got a five-star and a four-star, both on the offensive side of the ball, though, which... Would have been nice to get someone on defense to help out our crappy defense, but I don't think there's anyone really available that wanted to come here. So the fact that we were able to swing that center, McClan, was great. And Mays is going to be a beast out there with pace. I'm glad we kept pace, though, still. He'll be able to help uh, Mays really, really develop here. Okay, positional changes. Here we go. So running backs, we have a lot of running backs. Wow. We'll definitely be cutting a few of those guys. Like there, I think we're all good. This guy has a tight end. Yeah, I saw he was tall. 70 is, is his best overall. Yeah, nowhere else really though. Tight ends. Yeah, we're fine there. Tackles. Good. Good. Wow, we have a lot of centers here now. Uh, would you be good at a guard or tackle? No. Guard or tackle. This guy can go over as a 62. Okay, but now Gardner is a senior. Then we got Mitten coming in as a freshman. And then we also have McClan coming in as a freshman. But then at guards, we don't really have much. Tackles also don't really have much. So let's see, what can these guys do? 68, 68. Clan. Yeah, no, he's going to be our top center. Mitten, Gardner. Where can Gardner go? Can we... Gardner can be a 68 guard if we need him. Could improve him in his senior year too. Maybe try to get him some playing time here. We wanted to go in over as a right guard. Gardner, you're going over as a right guard. So that gives us some more depth there. Defensive ends are fine. Defensive tackles, yeah, we're keeping both those guys. Boom. Middle linebackers are tough still. Not looking good. Although we got Joe Nix, who's a freshman 62 overall. So he'll be taking the lead over from Olsen next year. But we definitely need to focus on recruiting some middle linebacker skill sets. Because like, can any of these guys go middle linebacker? No, like their skills just don't transfer. Yeah, nothing really transfers over there. It's a unique position. And we have two punters. Uh, if we do need to cut guys, the junior punter will be gone, most likely. And then we got Quincy Lee, the athlete. Okay, so where... Oh, running back 70. Yeah, so this guy can be a running back or a corner or a free safety. So free safety 68. That would bump him up pretty high. Can these guys go somewhere else? Not really. Uh, where else? Corner, it says, a 68. No, and then running back is a 70. Yeah, that would just create another log jam here at running back. Can we move any of these guys out somewhere else? Corner, 65. Then mind you, he could be a 65 as a defensive end. Defensive end. Yeah, worse we have is a 68. Uh, I don't know. This guy's making it hard on us here. Don't know where we want to plug him in here. I think we might just have to plug him in as a running back. 
and then we can redshirt a couple of them and then we'll just have it be loaded at running back we'll we'll probably have to cut a bunch of these guys too so that's fine yeah let's move into running back then that's his best best position so i don't want to put him somewhere else uh yeah he actually might be starting for us and then we can fret we can red shirt probably reese and yeah we'll figure that out later training results okay there we go i'm seeing some better positional players popping up now which is good edwards is our best player now is an 87 nice okay andrew's up to an 84 that's good to see we'll just continue here i'll see the um depth charts with all of them uh oh but first we have to cut players that's right okay so we're at 76 we need to get down to 70 who's gonna go is the question running back holy smokes one we have what eight running backs okay so who's the worst down here yeah, so we have a 62. We can get rid of him. Actually, can we get rid of all the 50s? I would love to get rid of the 50s. How good is Maze? Maze is already an 80. Pace is a senior and he's an 80. So they're going to complement each other nicely, I think. Everyone's a 70. They're 70. 60s. Come on, give me the 50s. Ooh. Yeah, these guys are pretty bad. Problem is, is that we need positional players at this position because we have two seniors. So I think we're going to have to hang on to those guys, unfortunately. Middle linebacker. Uh, yeah, like same thing. Like we're getting older in this position. We need the freshman. Corner. Yeah, we can get rid of him. Free safety. Uh, yeah, the 59 we can probably cut. Strong safety. I mean, this guy's a senior. Come on, we don't need you. And then punting-wise, I say we keep the freshman just because we don't need the junior anymore. And then that leaves us with one position left. Whittaker is probably donezo I would say, because we're going to redshirt Macy. Massey, sorry. And then we have those three. So, yeah, and then he'll eventually become the starter. So, yeah. Whittaker, you're gone, and there we go, we're at 70. Alright, moving to the depth charts now. Yeah, I'm liking where that's at. Uh, Cage, Willie Reese, yeah, we got Edwards, who's the clear number one back now for us. Fullbacks, we're going well with Pace and Maze, yep, the one twos, very nice. Tight ends, left tackle, okay, good, yeah. Centers, yeah, we got two very good centers that we got coming in now. McLean and Mitten. Might have to slide one of them over to a different position at some point, but we will see. Right guard. Do we have anyone better than a 70? Nope, 70 is the best that we have there than right tackle. Yeah, the 74. Those guys are good. Those guys are good. Middle linebacker is what it is. Corners, not too shabby. All right, yeah, I think we have everyone set up. Let's advance. There we go. So that's the completion of that offseason, boys. We just got a five-star recruit wide receiver. Massive for our already very good passing game. Andrews has a couple weapons this year to use now. Looking forward to see how much this offense can explode. Hopefully they can keep our defense afloat. So we'll see what happens with that. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you guys uh, hit that sub button if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a like as well if you're enjoying this series so far. And I'll see you in the, in the next one.